So good morning ladies and gentlemen and thank you for joining me for another first ride review. Now in front of me I have something slightly different as you can tell. This is the Sunra Miku Super. Yeah this is a electric scooter. I think they call it a sports scooter but um, it's got these kind of classic modern classic headlight there. It's got upside down forks we've got a single a single disc over here um, so that's your front brake and there's no clutch obviously it's it's an electric scooter um, there's the motor it's a little uh, kind of hub mounted three three kilowatt motor which I think works out to about four horsepower which doesn't sound much does it but actually it will do 50 miles an hour so they say and um, they claim a range of around about 65 to 66 miles on a full charge it has two lithium ion batteries uh, just down there which I can show you that opens this and now we have to do this take this cover out and there are your batteries you've got two of them they weigh about nine kilos each roughly um, you can charge each one of these individually so you can take them out of the bike and charge them individually and it takes about f uh, four hours per battery um, plugged into your mains in the wall. Um, little cubby hole here for your snacks. Or you can charge both batteries together by, uh, you do get a separate charging thing. Uh, again, four hours. So it's four hours separately or four hours together if you can actually put the bike near a socket and charge the bike itself seat height of Shortass. don't actually know what it is it doesn't say in the specs uh, funnily enough doesn't say the weight of the bike either but um, it's really really light let's just go and ride it and see what see what it's like out on the open road see how terrifying this tiny little motorcycle scooter will be um, right now it does have an alarm so let's just thumbprint turn it on there's the LCD dash nice and bright got all your bits and pieces on there so your power both battery in terms of charge we've got 70% in one 72% in the other as you can see it says A and B um, once you put the brake on so you got a park button there so it doesn't do anything but once you touch the brake it then kind of arms the bike it has three riding modes we'll go into the most powerful mode three and <laughs> Let's go and brave, brave the roads, shall we? All right, here we go. Off we go on the Sunra Miku Super. We are fully cranked open. Oh, the speed. It's almost too much. <laughs> oh, God, oh, the suspension. The suspension, oh, with my fat frame on it is uh, not the best. So we have brakes up front we have I think that's the front brake here yeah, that's the front brake and then the rear brake um, as I said we've got three riding modes one two and three one is the least amount of power and three is the most and it's got a top speed of 50 miles per hour claimed it is a little bit disconcerting how small I feel let's go we're racing we're racing we've beaten the Enterprise Transit Yes, we're we're neck and neck with something else. <laughs> this is this is so funny. Ah, uh, we almost had the Toyota Avensis. <laughs> we are now being overtaken by everything. The Enterprise Transit has done us, done us up the inside, on the outside. That's what she said. Right. So this is full power mode. Um, how quick is it going to get us? What speed are we getting? So 45 is oh 46. We saw, we saw 46. No, there it is, 47. Okay, I'm on a very, very busy dual carriageway. I feel very vulnerable. I have to admit, we're doing 45 miles an hour. Uh, right. So seating position. It's a little scooter. I feel kind of silly. <laughs> I bet I look silly as well, but it is what it is. My mate Phil will love me saying that, he hates that phrase, but Phil, you're going to have to deal with it, I'm afraid. So 46 miles an hour is kind of 
the most that this bike seems to do with me on it. Uh, I don't know what kind of range you can expect at this speed, but they do claim a top range of 65 miles there or thereabouts. I assume at top speed you'd get less, where we've gone down to 66% battery. Uh, I'm actually hoping <laughs> that we can do this little ride and get all the way home and I don't end up having to push it. Uh, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> God, I feel so slow. This is rather scary. Right, let's indicate we're coming off here. What are we down? I'm quite worried about the battery. We're down to 64% on one and 62% on the other. Now this is not the longest test route, but uh, let's hope the bike actually does it and doesn't run out. I haven't charged it since I've had it. I've had it for a few days, but it has been really, really cold, and I know that saps the uh, the battery. I keep wanting to le uh, reach for a uh, clutch and a gear lever, but there isn't any. Right, so let's go into two riding mode one. <laughs> I'm not overly ooh, indicating. I'm not overly confident in those tyres. If I'm honest, they do feel a bit squishy. Um, and the roads are a bit greasy. Right, so we're in riding mode 1. So riding mode 1 is limited to 30, which I guess is quite handy. 2 will be 40 and 3 will be 50 if you can get to 50. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, 29 miles an hour at the moment. Uh, so this is the bumpy road. Uh, the suspension, if you can call it, <laughs> if you can call it that Al, is uh, yeah, very harsh, not very forgiving so I'm going to avoid all these drain covers because they will hurt my delicate squishy parts it's actually quite comfortable you know like the seat is fairly it's fairly soft the rear suspension feels pretty soft actually but the front is quite harsh and unforgiving certainly with my frame on it <laughs> the handling feels very very flighty because of those small wheels but I think that's probably something scooter riders are used to but I'm not uh, but uh, we'll see how we go on the faster bits so we're down to 60% now I'm really hoping I, I don't blow all my juice uh, I'm hoping I actually can get home so I think it's got regen I think that's what that means when it's pulsing the battery when you're braking it does have regen mm. riding mode one it also has an automatic light which would do that I don't know, yeah, I guess that dips the beam for you automatically. High beams, low beams. Yeah. Um, it even has a reverse gear. I'm not sure why you'd need it on such a small, light machine. But there you go. Full power! <laughs> I don't even have my earplugs in because it's so quiet. Yeah, EV bikes are very interesting. I think we're coming up to a 40, so I can put it in riding mode 2 and see how that goes. Who's this aimed at really? I guess it's really for people who live in cities and built up areas. Right, 40, here we go. Give me some juice. Yes, limits it at 30, 40 miles an hour. Okay, we need to brake, otherwise we're gonna we're sliding around the road because these tires are a bit, I don't know. I just don't have any confidence in these tires. That could just be the road being pretty greasy. It's been ever so cold recently, but today is the first day where it's been warm enough to actually come out and film something. It's certainly small and nimble enough to carve through London traffic or busy town traffic if you were so brave. Um, I'm not sure I am, if I'm honest with you. Oh God. So we're... I don't have much faith in those tyres. <laughs> Power delivery is obviously not the most exciting oh we're going up a hill we're losing a bit of speed oh dear <laughs> oh dear oh come on come on little motor attached to the back wheel you can do it we're gonna go into full power mode guys so hold on to your hold on to your butts here we go <laughs> full speed ahead we're in full tuck we look stupid and I don't care <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, okay, right, hmm, so batteries, let's talk about those batteries, you've got two, I think they're 70 volt 
20 amp hour lithium ion batteries which you can remove and uh, charge independently if you so wish if you don't want to cart the bike in your house or whatever you can take the batteries out but then it's four hours per per battery pack whereas if you can get the bike next to a wall socket it's four hours for both batteries together so that's pretty nifty there is no uh, kind of fast charging option with this unfortunately at the moment and um, because I think the, they, the guy said it would literally fry the batteries it doesn't need that kind of juice but it would be good if there's a fast charge option in the future because I know I wouldn't really want to wait four hours waiting for the bike to charge if I'm stopping somewhere right we I'm trying to kind of <laughs> I've got a 4x4 up my chuff <laughs> But actually, do you know what? I'm sorry, I get, I'm getting my head around the handling now. It's, it's kind of playful. It's playful and fun. Um, I, you know, if it was a bit faster, I think you might reach the limits of what the bike can do. I'm just going to pull into the left here, see if this guy wants to go past me. No, they don't. Okay, fine. Oh, I kind of wish they would. Oh, the power delivery isn't super smooth. I mean, it is smooth, but there's like, it's like off on. I'm, I'm kind of having to th feather the throttle to get to the speed I want. I'm going for the back brake there, but there isn't one. Right, what are we at in terms of power? 40 odd percent. Right, okay. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, we'll put it in park. Oh, but as soon as you touch the front brake it... Okay, we're in park. So, this is the Sunra Miku Super electric EV sports scooter not sure where the sport comes into it but it does look pretty sporty so yeah there's those tiny little tiny little wheels i don't actually know what the size is of these uh so it's a 120 70 12 uh cst tires apparently um it's not the best weather to test out grip and traction to be honest as i said led lights all around let's uh got hazards stick those on they're pretty bright actually pretty bright and at the front there I actually quite like the uh, the light. It's very uh, Honda CB 650R, isn't it? Tiny little upside down forks. Um, carrying capacity for this bike is 150 kilograms. I think that probably includes the rider. <laughs> so you've got the uh, rear pegs there for a pillion. My girlfriend uh, only weighs 50 kilos, so could we, we could actually, in theory, ride this two up. There's an app as well for the phone, which I'll show you. So this is the app. We are connected to the bike. We can do ignition on, off. We can lock the bike and arm the alarm, which is pretty cool. We can pop the seat off, apparently. We can mute the bike. Uh, what settings? So it's just going through some of the different settings. You can set up your fingerprint there. Any accessories. Unbind, you can automatically lock. Vehicle unlocks and wheels do not turn for 45 seconds once it's locked yeah it's um so it's that's pretty nifty actually i quite like that but yes what do you think <laughs> would you would you be seen out riding the sunra miku super i actually think it's pretty nifty it's very different to uh, the bikes i'm used to riding so i think i've covered everything in terms of tech specs but it's a three kilowatt motor at the back just hub mounted here We've got suspension, spring there, uh, telescopic forks up front. Um, there isn't too much on the spec sheet on this one. It's pretty basic. As I said, two batteries in here, 72 volts, I think they are, 20 amp hours. It certainly is interesting. We've got an auto uh, light system, so auto dip beams. We've got reverse mode. <laughs> it's pretty gentle, actually. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Press it again, go back into uh, forward mood. Right. So as I said, riding modes, three riding modes. One is limited to 30, two is limited to 40, and three is 50 miles an hour, if you can get there. We have the battery status, of course, there of both batteries. Um, it does have regen braking, I believe, when you're, when you're slowing down. So let's go, let's stick it in mode one. But you, oh god, it does actually start quite um, aggressively. She loves it. 
mirrors are not very good they're kind of too pointy they just need to be a bit bigger um oh my god there go my testimonials <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh my lord oh Ooh, slow down never thought i'd say that on a bike like this yeah so the um the power kind of i don't know seems very off and on where I'm trying to just maintain 20 and it does feel like it kind of surges a bit it doesn't seem like it's a linear delivery of power it does seem to surge a little bit oh and now we're <laughs> we're going off-road why not not off-road it's kind of gravel isn't it really this is a private driveway <laughs> hey oh, oh. Oh, massive potholes. Oh, God. Don't want to crush my nuts. Thank you very much. I don't know where I'm going, but I thought, why not do... Oh, God. <laughs> Losing traction a bit. So the torque is actually pretty... Does surprise you, actually. The initial engagement of torque. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's quickly go off-road. Just a bit off-road. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. So, oh, big. Oh, God. This is not, not for the faint of <sighs> nutsack. Yeah, we can lock the rear, the rear wheel up. We can back it in. <laughs> I have to say, I am having fun on this, uh, regardless of low power doesn't kind of matter really um it's a bit less fun out on the open road if i'm honest because i do feel a bit vulnerable but uh actually doing this sort of stuff isn't too bad it's quite fun quite light-hearted and i'd love, love to do a bit more of that sort of stuff right i don't want a car to be not much of so i'm gonna wait Ah, oh, so how much does one of these beautiful majestic machines cost you? Well, it's three and a half thousand pounds. I looked on the Sunra website today, and uh, that comes with a two-year unlimited mileage warranty. Let's stick it in full power. And the battery actually has a three-year uh, eighteen thousand mile warranty, whichever comes first. So three and a half thousand pounds, while not super cheap for an electric bike, I think that is remarkably. Uh, low asking price considering you'll never ever have to put petrol in it and uh, you can just charge it up at the wall so uh, yeah it's pretty cool I've, I've had a good laugh on this actually today all right we're gonna go up a hill come on little bike you can do it come on you can do it apparently this uh, bike can cope with up to 27 degree incline we seem to be doing okay oh no we've just gone down to 27 26 26 miles an hour <clears throat> but that's maybe because it's in a limited speed mood and um, there's a little off-road bit which I would do if I had more juice but as I'm on 40% right now I don't think oh well it's 30 39 and 38 I don't think I'll risk it uh, I think taking this off-road could be possibly one of the most fun experiences ever so if they did like an off-road version of this bike with a bit better suspension some off-road tires little spoked wheels I think they could be on to a winner there. So Sunra, if you're listening, perhaps a little adventure adventure version of this could be cool. So yeah, now that I've got my head around the uh, the handling, I was just basically giving the... Uh, I was counter-steering too much, and you don't need to do that on this bike. So we're still at 37, 38%, which is, which is good. Now I think that it's only done... I can't remember miles I did. I, just, I think I've done about 30 miles, 30 or 40 miles. And it's got 20% left, but I did leave it for a long time outside. So I definitely feel a bit more confident on this doing uh, sort of local little rides, not going on the uh, dual carriageway and stuff. But actually doing these um, sort of smaller roads, I do feel fine on it. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna get home, no problems. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully uh, you've just enjoyed this little uh, informal, fun sort of video. As always, if you do go out today, do ride safely, but remember to have fun, of course.
and until next time you take it easy and peace <laughs> oh. Oh, it got me home with 20% spare thank you little Miku Super you've been good fun <laughs>